Curves is the most powerful tool to edit your photos. Well, cool, but how exactly do we use it? There are so many different things that you can do uh, with Curves, so many different ways uh, to use it. And today I'm going to show you some techniques that you can start to use today to edit your photos. It goes from manipulating the contrast to color grade your wall image using only curves. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm here with this image and I have just been doing the development. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about curves. So with only a few curves, we're gonna try to uh, add more contrast and color grade our images. So to get uh, curves, you click here, curves. So I am on the adjustment uh, panel. Okay, and here you have your curves. If you are not familiar at all with curves, I'm gonna explain uh, quickly what is going on. Here you have your histogram. So this is where the light is in this image. So here we can see that we have a lot of darker tones. Then it's going down in the mid-tones and then we we are picking in the highlight, which is probably um, the sky part that is a bit. Here we have this line and you are able to affect uh, the parts where there are dots. So here you can see there is dots. If we bring it up, we're gonna affect uh, the shadows. As you can see, if we, if we bring it to the right, we're gonna add shadows in the shadows. Same with the highlight to the left, it's adding more uh, light to the highlight and down we are taking down the highlight in the highlight only. When you are not familiar uh, with curves, the best way uh, to use it is to use this hand here. So you are able to pick uh, a part of your image and make adjustments based on that. So here we're gonna add some contrast to this image. So I wanna uh, pick um, a part of the image where uh, there are some lights. So maybe around here. And I'm going to bring it up. Yeah, somewhere here. And then I'm going to pick a darker tone. So yeah, maybe around here and I bring it down so it is creating a S curve as you can see it's kind of a S I like to bring the shadows up so it gives a more cinematic look so just just a bit okay so we're gonna see the before and after so before after and you can see that only with like two dots we added a nice uh, contrast with the curves adjustment layer so before and after now i'm gonna use another adjustment so we can see uh, the difference but know that you could do everything in just one adjustment so here we're gonna work on colors so here we work for the contrast on the RGB channel, but we also have a red channel, a green channel and a blue channel, which is RGB. So you need to know that the opposite color of RGB is CMY, so cyan, magenta and uh, yellow. So for example, I go to the red. If I go up, I'm going to add red in the shadows. It works exactly the same as the RGB channel. If I want to remove red in the shadows, I'm going to take this dot and go to the right. It's going to add cyan, as you can see. So let's say that in this image, I would like to have uh, blues in the shadows and uh, yellow orange in the highlight. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the blue channel and then I want to add blues in the shadows so i'm gonna pick this end here i'm gonna go to my shadows so i'm here and i'm, I'm going to bring uh, this tone up and you can see that i'm adding some blues in all the similar tones that i picked 
Now I'm gonna pick a color in the highlight. So this area here and I'm going to bring it down. Okay, so I'm removing blue which means I'm adding yellow. Because yellow is the opposite color of blue. So before and after, you can see that we already have a nice effect. Now let's add some uh, red in my highlight so I have a more orange effect. So I'm still picking the end, I'm going to the same point as before and I'm going to bring that up to add some red. If I go down, I'm going to add green. So I want to go up. Okay, nice. So before and after. Before, after. So as you can see, with two, only two curves, here is what we did. We added a nice effect, we color graded uh, our image, we added some contrast and all that with just one kind of adjustment. So imagine you are using curves and then you add other adjustments. You can go very far and very deep in your color grading, in your contrast setting for any images. So I highly recommend you to try out things uh, with curves and to go crazy with it, to uh, even maybe use the mask. So I'm gonna show you an example here where I wanna add a lot more blues um, here in the, in the ground. Okay, so then I invert my mask. I take my brush 100% with a white color and I'm going to brush the ground. And here you can see that the curves is affecting only this area. If I wanted uh, this uh, part here to be a bit more red, I'm going to do that for you. I'm using another curve because I don't want to use the same mask. Red, I pick the end, I go to that part, I bring it up because I wanna add red. So I bring it up, come on I to invert, and then I'm going to select this part only. So I'm doing a quick selection. If you wanna be more uh, precise, you should uh, learn how to do selection. Well, red works very well with um, green, so that's why in this image, that would work nice actually to make this, uh, this color choice. Okay, nice. So as you can see with only curves, I only used curves. And you can see the before and after, before and after, before and after. So I really recommend you to try out curves, different uh, way to use it, to use it with mask and uh, with only curves, you can, you can go very, very far uh, in your editing. So yeah, hope you understand a bit more how curves works. And if you didn't, please ask your question in the comment section. If you like this video, please push the like button. It helps a lot growing my channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss any next videos. See you in the next one.